think I have silver. You think you have silver? I think I have silver here. The rim looks good. Again with, what'd you get? We got a 1901 Indian. No, sir, look at that. All right, I don't know if you can see that right there. Of course you can see that, it's round. But what is it? Well, the Colorado crew and I are back at the log cabin. Can't wait to show you everything we found. Let's get right to it. All right, as is fashion, Jeffrey got the first target. Only know it because I pulled one up last time and you guys were like, harmonica. Dude, you found the whole reed plate reed the plate, last yeah. time we were here. A little piece of a, a reed piece. section. Yeah, nice. Do you guys think this was the first, the first uh, owners or second owners? We're going to go with the first owners, Sweet. 1850s. Sweet. We're not going to say his they name. Like, they like the music, huh? We're not going to say his name. We're not giving away our secret okay, location. Don't say his name. No. Good job. Yeah. Rothschild? Wasn't it Rothschild? Sure, sure, yes. Yeah. Second find of the day, of course, it's Gosh. Jeff again with, what'd you get? We got a 1901 Indian. No, sir, look at that. In, in decent shape, too. Wow, that is in good shape. Let's get a close up on that. Oh my goodness, look Ooh, at that the back back is in good shape. Yeah. Wow. Flip it over one more time. That is a beautiful Indian. Congrats, Remember, this is called a Liberty now, Mike. A Liberty? <laughs> no, it's an Indian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm a little ways away from the log cabin back there, and uh, guys are just having a great time, and I just popped out this little harmonica reed plate. This one's pretty small. Huh. It's going in the bag, and on to the next. And DK is working for this nail. Working for <laughs> Ooh, that's a, that's a good square nail. Now that is a beauty. <laughs> All that work for what, two nails? Two nails. Good job. Good workout. Yeah, absolutely. On to the next. All right, so quick little side note here. I was talking to the homeowner and he said back in the early 1900s, this little shack was a little girl's bedroom and they did run electricity out here, so she had light. And I did find a, an old 190, oh, I wanna say 1909. Wheat penny somewhere right there. I'm gonna go check it out again, see what else I missed. All right, I don't know if you can see that right there. Of course you can see that, it's round. It's round, but what is it? That's the question. Got really excited when I saw this. Well, it's got some writing on it. I'm gonna clean this up, see what it says and come right back. Okay, well it reads, D.B. Smith and Company, Utica, New York, disc number 56. I'm gonna see what I can find, throw it up on the screen, and if I don't find anything, you just comment below. All right, now we're gonna sneak up on DK. Let's see that, uh, you got a reed plate? Very nice. Yeah. Cool, you got something else in the hole? Yeah, there's something else in there. All right, cool, I'll come might, back to you. Might be iron. All right. I missed it, I just missed uh, Sir Beeps a lot. <laughs> oh, dude. The quarter mask. Look at that. Man, we got screwed, foiled, nailed, and hammered <laughs> all in one That's day. It. That's okay. good. Yeah, good job, man. Thank you. So quick break, guys, just to tell you about Relics Radio. Relics Radio is a fantastic podcast run by these two guys, Mr. DK from Adventures in Dirt and Mr. Tony from 5280 Adventures. How long have you guys been doing this podcast? It's in year seven, but we've been on for three, two or three years. About three years. Yeah. Yeah. It's a long-running podcast. Yeah, it's been on for seven years. It was started a while back. It's a fantastic podcast, but recently there was a big upgrade to Relics Radio. Tell them about it. So, yeah, so we decided that we start doing our live broadcast for those that want to join us live every Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern over on Tony's YouTube channel. 5280 Adventures 5280 on, YouTube. on YouTube. On YouTube. And you can also come join us at the Facebook group called Relics Radio. It's the Relics Radio Facebook group. And we're going to broadcast live at the same time on both those platforms. So 5280 Adventures on YouTube and the Relics Radio Facebook group. We're also going to post on a third site, but we're going to round robin that. You never know. You can always catch the audio replay, though, or anywhere you find podcasts. Just do a search for Relics, Relics Radio. That's right. All right, so every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central. The rest of you can do the math. Now let's get back to the hunt. That's it. All right, say that again, Tony. I think I have silver. You think you have silver? I think I have silver here. The rim looks good. Oh, I flipped it. I think it looks like silver to me. Can sure you see it? It looks like silver to me, yeah. 
Uh huh. Rosie. Rub the Rosie. Rub the Rosie. 51. For those at home who don't know what a Rosie is, what's a Rosie? Well, it's a Roosevelt dime that they still make, but there are silver ones, just like silver quarters and silver halves, silver dollars, but the Rosie is a Roosevelt dime. And they were made out of silver up until 1964. 64. Right. So if you find a quarter or a dime yep. before 1965, yes. it's 90% silver, is that right? 90%. And then a few of the war nickels had some silver in them. They did. Those yeah. were 40% silver, I think, or 35%. That sounds about right. 35, I yeah. think. Uh, I don't think it has a mint mark. Nope. So Philadelphia, Rosie. Picked it out. We've been it here was, all over the place. So there's iron in here too. And I heard iron on one side, a high tone, and then iron. And I was like, all right. It, it's probably just gonna be deep iron because it was coming up high, but I'll take it. Hey, you're Perfect. on the board. Good job. Silver's good day. All right, out of this little hole here, I just got gold, y'all. It's gold. Oh, yeah, it's gold schlager. Gold schlager, y'all. Yeah. It's a little glass bottle. I'm gonna keep this. On to the next. Well, we are just on a roll with these clothespins. These old Hollywood pinups. I got me a red one. <laughs> if you missed the last episode, Tony and I each got a Hollywood pinup. Today, Jeff got one. I got one. Very cool piece of history right here. So just so no one at home thinks we're only finding good stuff today. We always show the trash at the end, but I thought it'd be fun to show the, the junk while we're hunting. A little piece of iron, it happens. You just move on to the next. All right, Jeff, I heard you just got something. You wanna show everyone what it is? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see it. You're like, would you care Cause, to cause show people? Tony and I got one. Today? Uh, no, last oh, time. Yo. Last time we were here. It is. What color did you get? Green. Oh, you got green. Hollywood pinups. Oh, baby. And what did you guys determine the age was on those? I looked it up and uh, I got 1940s. Sweet. Right? A little, yep. little piece of Americana. You can you gonna hang that up on your wall? So when that'd you get be home? like that. Be the picture of the woman would be like Judy Garland. Right. Something or, yeah, like that. Yeah. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You gonna pin that up when you get yeah. home? I'm gonna Good. give it to my wife. Good. She'll love that. She's gonna love it. <laughs> what you doing, buddy? Doing squirrel stuff? Yeah. Did Jeff pulled out a pistol ball. Put it back in for me. Let's see that pistol ball. Look at that pistol ball. That's good. We were just about ready to get the hell out of here. I had to do one and more. He had to do one more. Oh yeah, nice, nice man. Did it hit anything? Nice yeah. big. Anything? Yeah. It was from a duel. All right, we've been waiting to do the wrap up for how long? For Jeff to find his three ringer bullet. I didn't get to see this yet. Three ringer. DK, did you get a? Did you get a? Oh yeah. That's a good one. That's cool. All right, let's do the wrap up. All right, I'll start. Uh, I'll start with Tony this time. Tony, what'd you get? Just a spent cartridge, piece of lead. Two clad dimes and a 51 rosy. All right. We all, I think you were the only one that got silver today, so good job on that. Really good. That's I found great. gold. I found gold, that's what I'm calling it. Got a little bit of ammo, got our clothespin, a few nickels, harmonica, reed plate. DK, how'd you do today? Man, I did amazing. I think you did all right. You so got, I found, uh, yeah, I found that and the zipper in the same hole. Okay. The zipper says uh, Talon on it. All right. Got shotgun shells. That looks like it's a small. That's a definitely a hinge. Yeah. Like a gate hinge. Uh, shotgun shells. Or what is it? Looks like maybe an old oil lamp up top. Oh yeah. Really small though. Maybe somebody at home knows what this is. Yeah. It kind of looks like that's where the wick would have gone through. It does, yeah. yeah. And it looks like, you see there's a hole on the side of that right there? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like maybe that's breathing where the arm, hole. Yeah, breathing hole or the arm came through there or something. Cool. I don't know. Yeah. A couple of shells, really cool. Uh, rimfire and uh, looks like a 44 slug. And this, I thought this was silver. I thought it was cool, but you straightened me out on that. Well, yeah, do you folks I at home know out. what that is? 
This was a mystery until we folded it back the way it goes, but this is the top to a salt shaker, or the salt, salt container. Yeah, Morton salt. There you go. <laughs> there you go, all right. Jeff? Yeah, we got we got a great uh, assortment for you today. You, <laughs> yeah, no, you got hammered. I know you yeah, got hammered yeah. today. You got a little, little child's hammer. Yeah. And a... You got a Hollywood, we Hollywood both got Hollywood pinups. Pin yeah, yeah. Judy Garland's pinup of choice. Yeah. Or clothes pin of choice. We have a little nipple bob right here with the, oh, sorry, I look at this. So this has a, whoops. This is a pistol ball, which the elders have said is, is um, period. And then we have a, some sort of a twisty clock winder device, maybe. Twisty knob, hold on to your balls. Some some kind of a device. That's a cool little uh, cool. knobby knob. And then you got, a, you got a rusted button, which I don't know why that made it on there. I don't know how that made it on there, but and then the button's a button. This, this is yeah. probably my favorite find of yeah, the day. We're the, saving the yeah. best for last. We are. And then we're not sure what that is, but it's threaded on the top and it's, you know, it's fairly old. Yeah. And then there's your three ringer. What caliber is that, Ken? Five, oh, that's a smaller I, one, so that, uh, that's a 357 Magnum. 357. It's a yeah. F-teen And then this is, the, this, is my, this is the find of the day that we can't ID, but it has a uh, flower design there yeah, on Yeah, both it. sides. Both sides. And it looks like kind of like a Presta valve on this side. Another great day. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, great day. There we go. All right.